Hey friends, it's Gardener Sydney and I am back out in your school garden here at the Russell. So I know for these past couple of weeks and months we have been talking about all sorts of different things in the garden, what's happening, what's growing, and what season we're in. But now we're in winter and our garden is going to sleep. It's getting put to rest. So we're gonna look at a few things that we have talked about and some new things and see if you can figure out how the garden needs to change during winter and what we do to help it. First things first, as always, I just wanna give you a chance to see the garden. What are you noticing? Does it look different than when we last saw it? Here is one of our beds of winter rye. We talked about this a little bit when we were talking about erosion and something really cool with our winter rye here, we can see a lot of these rye shoots growing but can you see the seeds that they sprouted out of? I'm spotting a few and you can see roots digging into the soil and shoots coming up towards the sun. Here are some even younger sprouts of winter rye. We talked about how we plant winter rye to help prevent erosion. And I'm gonna show you firsthand how that works. First, I'll show you what happens on this patch of bare soil when it rains or when water is coming down. happening to our soil? What are you noticing about the water? What are you starting to see exposed in our soil here that we might not have seen before? After a few weeks of experiencing rain on uncovered soil, it'll start to look like this. At the top, it's very gravelly. There's not a lot of good topsoil and we're left with a sandy, dry surface. Where did all our good topsoil go? Over on our winter rye bed, it looks quite different. Let's see what happens when we water this. What I'm noticing here is that this looks different from our other bed where we didn't have winter rye. I'm noticing less rocks. It seemed like the water soaked in more quickly. So what is the winter rye doing to help that? And here is a bit of our winter rye pulled out of the soil. We can look back to our plant parts and think about what parts these are. This is the original rye seed that we planted. Coming down here, these are our roots. And then we have our stem and our leaf. What does our winter rye have or what is it doing that makes it so the soil is less affected by rain, wind, and other things that cause erosion? Now I'm gonna show you some pictures or some videos of the garden and I want you to see if you can pick out different things that you notice are different in the garden that you think that we're doing to prepare for winter. And I want you to find at least three things that you think I did in the garden to prepare for winter. I can't wait to hear what you found. Bye.